Hi everyone, I'm Cinder 9 and welcome to my new LP project. This is Epic Battle Fantasy 4. This is a Flash game. It's... I haven't played this one, but I played the prequels. I played uh, 1, 2, and 3. I'm playing this on Congregate. I'll throw an annotation somewhere if you don't know. Congregate, it's... A nice website, you can play a whole bunch of Flash games that people put on there, and there are a lot of good games. It's like Armor Games, um, things like that, Newgrounds, where games are, things like that. But Congregate is games. Now you can see Epic Battle Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. 1 was good, 2 was fantastic, 3 was absolutely amazing, and I'm hoping for the best out of 4. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to call this an LP. Haven't played this. Anna. Heh, meat shield. Nah. Natalie. What's up, Lance? Oh, there's some nasty looking monsters. Awesome interest, Matt, I must say. We're gonna look at the credits real quick. These are the awesome people responsible for this game. I'm gonna throw this up here a little bit. Of course, Matt Rozak, Kupo707, who is what it's under on Congregate. Um, made some excellent, excellent games. The previous ones are absolutely amazing. If you're a fan of old school type RPGs, Think like your old school Final Fantasies, Dragon Quest, where you select commands. It's like that. Uh, he, he, and everyone else here, fantastic job. For previous ones, if you worked on a previous one, but I, I, I love this series. One, two, and three. If you haven't, go on Congregate Armor Games wherever, and throw down on these they are a blast like i said if you're a fan of rpgs play this play this game and play the prequels this is where you'll learn about the characters that we have now but we're gonna go ahead and get started with the new game previously in epic battle fantasy 3 so spoilers if you don't want to know if you want to play them yourself the ancient demon akron was defeated by three young adventurers and their pet cat, Matt, the warrior, Natalie, the magician, and Lance, the gunman, had saved the world and become living legends. Afterwards, the heroes pillaged towns for a living, because they could get away with it. They saved the world from certain destruction, so it may be argued they earned the right to everything within it. This behavior quickly made them many enemies. Huh. You know, that makes sense. Yeah, your RPG heroes just take things from houses. And it's like, I will take this potion. And then nobody says anything about it because they're the heroes. Hmm. Fast forward to today. A sacred jewel was stolen from the village of Greenwood. Local legends say that terrible things will happen if this jewel falls into the wrong hands. Anna, a young ranger and a resident of Greenwood, was very upset by this news. And she's new to the series, to my knowledge. Anna quickly prepares to chase down the infamous trio who were spotted nearby and who she suspects must have taken the jewel. And so, an epic new adventure begins. Super important tip, you can change the controls, difficulty level, graphic quality, etc, etc, and other stuff here. Medium, let's go ahead and throw that. Music's fine. Uh, we'll play on normal. It looks like the higher the difficulty, the higher the enemy's stats will be. And I'm going to play with the mouse. Uh, you can see the mouse. And you can see it's like an RPG. You can move around. Here's Anna, who's the only person we have right now. Level 1, 195 HP, 33 MP. Wow, this is nice. I must say, and remember, this is a flash game. You, you could say it's on, on a website with other other games this isn't on 
Xbox 360. This isn't on PlayStation 3. I, th this is on a a website, Congregate, where there's a whole bunch of games. But the you'll see, at least in the other ones, the polish has been remarkable. Again, I can't stress playing Epic Battle through Epic Battle Fantasy. 1, 2, and 3. Especially 3. It was extremely well done. Like I said, if you're an RPG fan, check it out. Attack, magic attack, defense, magic defense, accuracy, and evade. She's wielding a fairy bow. May poison targets. Boost the power of poison skills. May cast log with certain skills. Hmm, wonder what that is. Randomly cast vines between turns. Hmm, sounds interesting. Got a yellow bobble, a thunder resistant bobble. Okay. And a ranger skirt. Randomly cast bind between turns. Hmm. Sounds handy. She's got negative 50 resi 50 percent resistance to burn. So, <laughs> oh, all the forest stuff. That makes sense. Stun. Cannot take a turn. Earth damage is increased by 50 percent. She's got 20 percent resist to that. 20 percent resist to tired. Evade and accuracy decrease every turn. And 40% resist to poison. For status resistance. And then elemental resist. Pretty cool, I must say. That's a... I, look at this. That's a slick... You know... Uh, equip screen. Stat screen. Uh, say Stat screen. Yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Base plus... Base times equip. So you can see how the equipment is affecting whatever you have. This is very well done, I must say. Just so far, just initial reaction. This is very well done. Food? Use these to recover HP and MP. A Kiwi heals for 300. Muffin heals for 50 MP. Kiwi's HP. Cherry. All living party members get 200 HP. Nice. Coffee are your Phoenix Downs for this game. <laughs> Revives a fallen ally. And garlic heals an ally status problems. Cool. Use these to boost stats permanently. Beef. Permanently increases defense by 2%. Oh, we're going to hand hold on to that. Upgrade equipment in the forge menu. Wow. Allows old boots. Allows the party to go outside. <laughs> if we did not have this item, ladies and gentlemen, we would not be able to go outside. Oh wow, got lots of different skills. We'll see them in battle. Let's talk to people. Hi. Click around to walk and interact with stuff. I guess you already figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> you can also go into the options and switch to keyboard controls. If you do that, it'll be WASD or the arrow keys and then the space bar to interact with stuff. Okay. How about you? Someone finally stole the Greenwood Jewel, huh? I always knew that keeping it in such an obvious place was a bad idea. We need to get it back, though, or something terrible could happen. Well, that's why Anna's on the job. Yeah, you see? Leave it to me. I'll have it back here in no time. All right. Let's see. Sign. Upon this holy stump rests the jewel of Greenwood, our most beloved treasure. Its aura blesses our village and protects us from harm. Do not steal. Whoops. The Greenwood Jewel has protected our village for generations. How can we survive without it? The barren Ashwood Forest will spread over these lands and destroy our way of life. Calm down. I think you're overreacting a bit. <laughs> uh... Hmm? Light? Hmm. I don't think we have a lighter or anything. Hi! Ah. Slime cat. And then save. Neat. Encyclopedia. Medals. Ah, oh, a whole bunch of medals. Nice. I always like trying to it get in-game achievements and stuff. Find a slime cat and discover the warp zone. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy. 
Oh, game statistics. Players wounded, defeated, steps walked. That's awesome. I like that. Get more pets. Friend dog. Brings random healing items to the party. It's pretty cool. No, we'll just go back to <laughs> Greenwood Village. Okay. Looks to be... Let's see, which way do we want to go? Let's go left. What do we have here? Anna's house. Please water my plants if I'm away for too long. Okay? Thanks. Oh! Slime Bunny has bust the party, restoring their HP and MP. Neat! Thanks, Slime Bunny. See if there's anything we can find here. Treasure! Chris! Kills all living party members for 500 HP and 50 MP. Nice. Penny thief. <laughs> it won't hurt to carry around a spare pair. <laughs> Jeez, game. Rise of Fallen Ally with 30 HP. <laughs> and there'll be a whole bunch of just references to, to all kinds of different things. Was this place such a mess when I left? Hmm. It probably was. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, this game will have all kinds of references. Huh? I think I saw something in that bunch of mushrooms over there. Okay. A bad mushroom may cause hallucinations and vomiting if eaten. Well, we definitely don't want that. The cherry's nice though. And like a typical old school type RPG. Search everywhere for as many items as you can before you start your adventure. See those stone blocks over there? Well, you can push those around. Oh man. A lady shouldn't have to do that kind of work. But I think I'll manage. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Use strength. <laughs> No, this is not a Pokemon game. Did not use strength. <laughs> See, and there'll be a whole bunch of references like that just throughout the game. And that's in... the. It was done a lot in Epic Battle Fantasy 3. So expect more of the same. Let's see, iron ore and some bricks. Hmm, can't do anything there. BRB. I've gone to find the hammer. These rocks are too heavy to move. <laughs> Let's grab the treasure. Beef. Nice. Cheese. Heal an ally for 1,600 HP and 160 MP. Yikes. That's a bigger healing item. And more bricks. Put them together to build a house or something. Hmm. There we go. Flare. <laughs> it, it's a potion badge. A badge that boosts MP. But it's flare. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping because it's a badge, I'm really hoping that's an office space reference. Here's an ally for 50 MP. Buffs an ally's magic attack. Okay, a stat boosting item. Yay for milk. Not only does it strengthen bones, it strengthens magic as well. Who knew? Let's see. Is this where? Yeah. So it's like 10% more MP. So the plus 10 is. Okay. Might as well wear it. Chicken? Chicken molester. <laughs> hmm. So for those of you that have played... Zelda games if you hit a cuckoo too much bad stuff happens Ah, not gonna summon your friends to come and possibly kill me no that's a shame Oops. what else we got pool of healing Keep the pool of healing clean, please. 
Bathing is strictly forbidden. P.S. Don't feed the slime bunnies. Huh. What do you have to say? You can change stuff like game difficulty at any time. And there's no penalty for doing so either. So feel free to play at your own pace. Easy mode is a joke though. You should be ashamed of yourself if you play on that. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> hmm. The only way I'll get that treasure chest is if I walk on these lily pads. But I'm too heavy. Hmm. Okay. Slime bunnies are magical creatures who reveal themselves to those with pure hearts. In the wild, they can be found in ponds and rivers, but they can be quite hard to spot. They're also kept in buckets of water around town for good luck. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've got one at my house. They fully restore your HP and MP. Yeah, we saw that. Now we know how to find them. Hi. Find these items. Slime bunnies are very evasive creatures. Wearing their ears can boost your evade, but hunting them is illegal now. I do have a spare pair lying around though, wink wink. <laughs> find these items. Uh, we almost have enough muffins. Need to find ice cream and chocolate. Okay. I wonder if that'll go in our... Da -da -da. Quests! Yay! Bring me this stuff. <laughs> now that's, I, that is the quest. <laughs> That's good. Help you keep track of it. And right, we're back here. Oh, wow. Find these items. Do you have some cacti for me? I'm a bit obsessed with them. Considering your name is Cactusa, I, I can imagine why. A jungle flower and cactus. Okay. You'll meet a lot of people looking for holy water, but you should give it to me if you find any. I'll teach you how to use paper talismans. Holy water. Probably the biggest scam before bottled water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you have a quest too? Oh, no. Oh, that feels good. Massage me more. Behind the ears too. Oh, good morning. Oh, uh, slime. It's not morning anymore. You should be sleeping. You should stop sleeping all day. And get that slime off of your head. Pfft, not all slimes are bad. Some slimes are really friendly. Like slime bunnies and slime cats. Eh, we saw. The slime bunny healed us. Aw oh, man, I'm so tired. Oh, right. I was told to tell you to go east into Ashwood. There's not much else to do yet. Pig! Check in. Dirt ball. A chunk of very high quality dirt. I don't know how you have high quality dirt per se, but. Okay. Hmm, how about over here? Shop? Weapon shop. We sell high end weapons and armor from all over the world. This sign is not here for testing your new weapons on it. Please don't do that. Huh. I wonder how many heroes do that. Man, I got this great new sword. Let's test it out. And just start hacking at the sign. Huh. Hey, Anna. What's up? You're alone today? I finally dumped my loser boyfriend, by the way. After training for two years, he still couldn't defeat a slime. Wow. I need to find someone who can protect me in case anything bad happens, you know? I think you could learn some archery if you really wanted to. You're just lazy. Exactly. I don't trust myself to do anything dangerous. <laughs> well, at least she's honest with herself. <sighs> These bushes haven't been trimmed in a long time. Looks like I'll need the axe to cut them down. Hmm, gonna have to find an axe. Let's see. Anything here? Hi! No money, but let's see. Randomly regenerates the player. That could be handy. Crimson Dragon. Road sign? <laughs> it's a staff. Interesting. Viking Fur. Randomly cast Woolly Mammoth between turns. Huh. Fur Dress? Which does the same thing. 
Best for different characters, though. Mage Hat. Pink Flower. Oh, it looks like there's at least quite a bit of different equipment. Looks like there's some stuff back here. Let's see if I could squeeze through this gap. Sure can. Honeycomb. Permanently increases HP. Nice. They taste alright, but they'll make you sick. Ah, uh, that's not too good. What do we have up here? Lanky Root Jungle. Hi. An egg. Okay. Can't do anything else there. Sushi. Permanently increased MP. Ham. Permanently increases attack. And can't do anything else here. That was worth it, though. Ah, I guess to show that they had quests. How about up here? Huh, can't do anything there. Looks like that's gonna be the way they're gonna... The game is gonna block our path. We're gonna need to find axe, hammer, etc. What do we have over here? Miscellaneous item shop. We buy and sell crafting materials in random loot. Check us out. Hi. Sell. Oh, you can sell stuff. Buy stuff. Hmm. Find these items. Two pieces of glass. Two magma samples. And two liquid ice. Wow. I'm an alchemist by by profession, but I'm also a fan of archery. I'll lend you a cool bow if you bring me some crafting materials. Nice. <laughs> You're an alchemist named Alphonse. Awesome. That's that's too cool. Hi. An element of resistance of more than a hundred percent means that the target will absorb that element. Keep in mind that most attack damage is part elemental and part non-elemental, so the resistance will not apply to all of the damage. Sounds complicated. What about resistance to status effects? A negative resistance means the status is more likely to work, and a positive resistance makes it less likely. 100% resistance to a status effect means it'll never work. Good to know! All stat bonuses are relative to your current stats. Equipment modifies your stats by a percentage, so as do level ups, buffs, and stat boosting items. Yeah, that means stats grow exponentially, whatever that means. Road to Ashwood Forest. Your quest starts here. Be prepared for combat. Thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the sign that tells me that my quest starts here. Somebody must have just put it up. But before that... The old food shop seems to be getting a lot of customers lately. Or a lot of customers today. Hey Anna, I hear you've got quite a quest on your hands. Keep a lookout for rare food items, such as pizza or orange juice, as there's a very limited supply of them, and you should save them for important battles. Good to know. Yeah, obviously. But I'm actually more interested in food items like ham or beef that can raise my stats permanently. I'll be eating those as soon as I find them. Huh, maybe it, maybe that's my hint that I should eat them. Yay, found beef. It was just sitting there. Food shop. We specialize in how high calorie meals for those with active lifestyles. Make sure to stock up on supplies before heading out into the wilderness. That sounds like a good idea. What a disaster. This place doesn't sell bacon and eggs at, at this time. I'll give you something good if you make me a nice breakfast. Chocolate core. Not sure which end you should eat first. Huh. But bacon and eggs. Oh my god. It's bacon. <laughs> bacon? Uh, the only thing we're missing now is this. Hi. I got a favor to ask of you. I'm making a new dress for myself, but I'm out of materials. If you can help me, I'll give you my old one. Okay, that could come in handy. Silk, wool, and paper talisman. Magical charm to war off evil spirits. I guess you can make a sweater out of this. <laughs> Find silk for fancy clothing. Okay. 
Eating food is good for your health, especially if you're injured. If you plan on finding monsters, you should take some snacks with you. Thanks for the tip, Julie. But I think I've already figured out the fact that people need to eat. You can also recover your HP and MP by simply waiting around, but that's a bit slower. It doesn't cost you anything though, so it's great at low levels. Good to know. Let's check out the shop. Hi. I see pizza. Kiwi, there's garlic, coffee. Very cool. You get all kinds of things here. Okay. What we're going to do. Ah, uh, we can't get back there. That's a shame. I wanted the pizza. Okay. Well, now that we've thoroughly explored the town, <laughs> at least I think I have, like we should do in every, you know, RPG, should explore and try to find free stuff. I think we found quite a bit of free stuff. About cheese, some cherries, some stat boosting items, some crafting stuff. Pretty cool. Forge bows, swords, forge bow. Oh wow, it tells you what you need. And the stats it gains. That's cool. Pretty neat. That's neat. I gotta say, my first impression just walking around seeing the status thing, status screens, and the few references we've seen already. This is gonna be a fantastic ride. So, again, I'm just gonna keep plugging this game definitely go go try out this game and try out the prequels if you enjoy RPGs and I'll give you a, a better sense next time when we really start the quest and go into the battle but I'm hoping just seeing like the items the stats the equipment things like that you get that more old old school type feel to RPGs. You know, your HP, MP, yeah, j just the items, how it's all set up. So next time we're actually going to start on the quest and see more of what I think is going to be a really fun LP and a really fun game. So again, check it out if it interests you. And like I said, next time we'll start on, on the quest. So until then, thank you for watching. I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and 